Hello everybody, and welcome to another a chapter a day keeps the doctor away. My name is Alan, otherwise known as Heesweet, and I'm from ReverseThieves.com, as well as the Speakeasy Podcast. And today we'll be looking at Sitai Karen Children, chapters 366, otherwise known as Black Phantom 20. And man, this storyline, more than any others, has shown how this series has gone from kind of a goofy kids series about lolly psychics to pretty much the X-Men because there are nukes and child bombs and exposition and time travel and multiple timelines and prejudice and humans, normal humans versus psychics, so... Pretty much, it could be any modern X-Men story. And this time, we get a lot of exposition about what made Feather come back to this timeline. We've pretty much known a lot of this, and we've gotten in pieces. But here's like the first big, like, laying it all on the table that Feather is once again Kaoru from the future and she came back because in her timeline Nia dies when the bomb in her head explodes and that basically makes Yui go crazy go nuts and so she's basically totally irredeemable any friendship that you formed with the children or her friends just is not worth anything and so she makes all these brainwashed psychics, and she, when they finally have to take her down, she goes down hard. And But by that time, there's so many suicide bombers and terrorist psychics who have been brainwashed that the rift between psychics and normals is too great, and organizations like Babel basically become part of the problem and either have to close down or become almost, you know, dystopian. And so Kaoru and everybody's only option it, to kind of have any kind of peace or decent life for the psychics is to join Pandra. And, you know, that of course leads to the horrible timeline that we, you know, have been seeing since the beginning of the series where, you know, the main character has to shoot Kaoru and basically everything's going to heck. And so she's hoping, you know, when Feather comes back, she's hoping to save Nia and, you know, and by extension save Yui so that, you know, if hopefully if that changes, then you know, something can be saved between the relationship between psychics and humans. And so far, this is kind of... You know, obviously things have changed. Yui went rogue and went after her father. So, you know, the timelines are definitely different. And they're possibly on the road to being better. But, you know, right now, while... Well, you know, the Pandra guys and the Doctor took out most of the fighters. That stealth bomber still dropped pretty much what's a nuke on the island. And so everybody's fighting, but at the same time, they're possibly about to get disintegrated. And so Feather basically is like, all right, now that you know the story, I'm going to pop you out of here and, you know, do the last thing I have to do, and hopefully this time everything will, you know, Yui will be saved, and everything will turn out okay. And so, interestingly enough, she pops him out right in between the standoff that's been going on for a while between the Major and Gilliam, and... At first, it seems like everything's going to go great. You know, 
Miyamoto falls on Gilliam and it seems to break the standoff, but then Gilliam now has the gun on the much weaker and much more easily killed Miyamoto, so you know, that's how the chapter ends kind of tensely of, you know, what's going to happen next. Uh, I assume Hyobu will, uh, you know, the major, will take this opportunity, you know, this unexpected turn of events to get the upper hand and then hopefully they can get everybody out of there. You know, Feather will team up with Karu and they'll be able to save Yui and Hyobu will be able to reluctantly save everybody else. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of curious if Gillian's going to survive this. I mean, everybody else is pretty much guaranteed to be okay. But uh, I wonder if Gillian's going to basically go down with the mansion, you know, basically not let himself be saved and get nuked, or will they save him? Um, could see it going either way. Um, you know, Miyamoto would obviously want to save Gilliam, but, uh, you know, he is kind of an irredeemable villain, or at least he seems that to be that way at this point, so him dying with the mansion wouldn't be totally unexpected. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it's been a while. I've been keep meaning to do a Zetai Karen children, but other stuff keeps coming up, but, uh, figure just get one done today so uh, you know you can get on the schedule all right see you guys next time